YouTube Zookeeper. So today, what I'm going to be working on is uh, <laughs> doing the little caveman um, fixing of my screwed up, mismeasured circuit boards. Um, gotta get this one off of here like that. All right, so we'll take that one off. So I'm going to do. If you remember from my previous video, um, I had a measurement error because I live in the United States. We don't use a rational measuring system. We use people's feet and fingers as a basis for our measuring measuring system. Okay. So, and arms. Um, the center line of the holes of my circuit boards don't match up to the center lines of the holes in the leaf battery. Um, suffice it to say that um, they're off by one millimeter between each. So if I'm off by one millimeter there, I'm off by two millimeters between the outside. So all I'm going to do is file and board. Uh, and uh, I'm just going to see if I can file the board enough to get it to fit to make sure that my new measurement is accurate. And these aren't populated, so I'm not damaging anything per se. Um, this is a really fine file. Uh, you know, I know I'm damaging my board, um, but that's okay. I just need to go about a millimeter or so um, and uh, I think I'm already done. It doesn't it shouldn't take long. Alright, so I'll put that over there. I'll put this guy in there. And then we'll see. If the, I think that's enough. Well, maybe it's close. All right, I'm going to find my bolts. Be right back. All right, got my bolts. Let's see if either one of those will go in. There's one. Aha. Okay. Yep, and they'll tighten all the way down. Very good. So now... What I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of these resistors and uh, TL431, which is over here. Excuse the arm. More fantastic camera work. And I'm going to populate one of these guys. Well, this one, in fact. And see if this actually does work um, in, the, in the battery itself. I've tested, you know, with these... I've tested one um, cell at a time and I've connected them together to test across. What I've not done is put it on the circuit board. So now that I've got the circuit board fitting, I will do some pausing and I will do some soldering and we'll come back and see if the thing actually works when it's on the board. YouTube, I'm going to do a pause and we'll come back later. Part two. Uh, okay, so I've got this guy soldered up. It's pretty hacked together. But um, what I have here, oh shoot, let me get my diagram. I've got the, oops. Okay, yep, everything's good. I've got the TL431 on both sides. I've got my lamp between the power and the TL431 on both sides. This is so this is the most positive, this is the next positive and this is the uh, module ground. I've got um, R1 which is a single 1k ohm resistor, 1k resistor which is not really 1k. They're pretty close, you know, they're within 10 ohms or 11 ohms or so. 
I've got R2, which is right here, where I had to take three resistors and solder them in series to get close to 1600 ohms. Um, 1633 on the left hand side, which is number one, and 1590 ohms. I did a little bit neater job on the second side. You can see I got a little more clever in my arrangement here. Um, and then the lamps here, uh, the lamp is 3.3 ohms on one side and 3.2 on the other, so very similar. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to take this and uh, left number one and right is number two. Put that on there briefly so everybody can kind of get a reference point. Okay, can you see that? Alright, so now I'm going to put that out to the side, put my picture back up here, and we're going to try not to kill ourselves. We are, what am I going to do with my nut? Oh, there they are. Alright, so I've got all my fasteners here. I'm going to connect this thing and see if it blows up or what happens. And this is lifetime deal here, folks, so you're doing it with me and we'll either fry or short something out all together. How does that sound? Sound good? Doesn't sound good to me. Let's see. Where is my... What did I do with my nut driver? It was right here. Oh, there it is. I got too many papers. So far, it looks like I'm not going to blow anything up. Which is exactly what I was hoping for. Alright, so far so good. I got my screwdriver to make the final connection here in the middle. I mean, th these little teeny wires. Um, that th The little teeny lamp wires won't carry any current, so if anything bad happens, it's going to go poof in a big hurry. All right, so the question now becomes, what voltage do we have? Uh, let me get this meter here, and I'll set that up. Oops. Let's see, I'll try to set it up. i to get the legs spread on it a little bit. Oh, man. It keeps... Stop falling apart. Okay, can you see that? Nope, can't see that. All right. Okay, uh, it's currently set for voltage. We can see that neither of the lamps are lit right now, which is what I would expect. I've got four point. Oh, look at that! Four point zero zero volts on the far right module. And see if I can do this without blocking the camera. Three point nine. Come on. Four point zero zero four volts that are almost exactly equal. All right, that's wonderful. Now, the next question is: In this wonderful world, what happens when I connect my power supply? and crank up the voltage. So first thing I'm going to do is take my alligator clips and some ground wires and connect my power supply to the um, uh, power, to connect my power supply to the voltmeter. So I can talk here. Um, and the reason I'm doing that is to try to find out I'm having, there we go. What voltage I'm applying, I want to do about 8.2 volts. Open circuit. I want to apply, apply 8.2 volts. 8.4, that's a little too high. Eight 
point one, eight point five. It's kind of fussy. In about eight, all right. So eight point two, eight point three volts is considered. You know, that'd be four point one five. Um. Okay. There we go. So let's see what happens when we connect these. Uh, this should be the most negative wire right here. And the most positive wire is going to have to go over the river and through the woods here to there. Okay, and I'm drawing, I'm putting current in quite a bit actually. Uh, I'm going to switch over to the high side. Looks like we're putting in about one amp. Alright, so I'm putting in one amp and we see, well you really can't see this, let me bend this up. I'll bend this guy up too so you can see him. On the, on, oh jeez. Can you see that light glowing gently? Get my piece of cardboard here. See if that'll help. But I have to have something to hold the cardboard up. This is a disaster, guys. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, forget that. Let's we're gonna go full Monty on this thing here. Okay. So we see that the light bulb is on on the right or left hand side, but it does not appear to be on on the right hand side. Let's and let's measure our voltage and see if we're regulating at all or if we're not regulating. So again, try to do this without interfering. I got 4.06. 4 volts almost exactly, 4.007 on the left side, and 4, God darn you, 4.0045 on the right side. So what that tells me is my shunt regulators, remember I was trying to put in um, 8.3 volts open circuit. So let me write that down. Um, let me get this out of the way. Ah! 8.3 volts OC turns into 4.00x charging. Okay. I had 8.3 volts. Ah, oh, you turkey. I had 8.3 volts open circuit going into the battery. And the minute I connected everything up and started charging, I dropped it down to 4 volts per, which is 8 volts total. So that tells me my that A, the battery's taking a load, and, and, and also suggests my shunt regulators are working. What I can't do, I mean, I know this one's working because you can see the light bulb on. I have no way to measure the current through that wire at the current, at the low current that it's actually drawing. Okay, anyway, uh, this video has gotten to be way too long, but um, I'm just going to connect this one more time and uh, show everybody. Oops, get my powers and grounds switched around. Four double oh seven. While it's regulating, zookeeper out. <laughs>